into the heart of man what God had for those that believe him. Now I want the believer to make a sound for God. You've got something to work for. You've got something to work for. You gotta make a sound for God. to do something in because the anointing that's upon your life and being such a young man that's when the enemy is so upset and mad but there's another location I don't even know what it's for but oh, I, keep hearing, I keep hearing the word location 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 God said he's giving you the resources I'm going to hold your hand a minute he's giving you the resources but because of the anointing on your life, I don't know who this is getting ready to get healed through your life. Oh, my, 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 my God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29, 11. Let me, let me get in the word a little bit. Amen. Because I feel good in here. Amen. Jeremiah. 29 and 11. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We reverence such a mighty work that the founder laid this foundation. Yes, God. Yes, that's good. Amen. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. I just want to talk briefly for a few minutes. Amen. Fathering the assignment. Fathering the assignment. Amen. Amen. Follow me. The assignment. This walk that we're living in, in this 21st century church, God has given the church a mighty assignment. The question that arises is are we fulfilling the assignment that God has commanded us to fulfill? Uh, some are, some are not because of whatever reason, because of fear of whatever the case may be. But the thing you have to understand in this season, in this hour, is that you can't let nothing or nobody hinder the assignment that God has called you to. Yeah. Because in every setting, there's a devilish spirit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. In every service, there's a devilish spirit that want to hold the, 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 the service down. But yeah, you yeah. have to know the assignment of God. Yeah, yeah. And you have to know what God has assigned you to do. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt since January, it's, it's, it's been a little uproar a little bit about who going to take over. I ain't gonna hit that long. I ain't gonna hit it long. I ain't gonna stay that long. I'm, I'm gonna hit it quick. Probably just been an uproar. Amen. About who gonna take over? Who gonna do this? And who? Well, I don't want this, and I don't want that, and I, and most of that comes from the folks that's not really doing what they're supposed to be doing. Anything. Most of that comes from the non tithers Most of that comes from the ones that ain't come to Bible study. The ones that ain't come to Sunday school. Come on now. 
I mean, no more. I just want to hit that and quit it for a minute. Because the assignment has to be followed. And God has somebody to follow this assignment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I want you to know that there's a great assignment here at Kingdom Builders Ministry. Change is the interesting thing. Some folks love it, others are violently opposed to it. Because some people are just set in their ways. They, I don't care, you can give them a million dollars, they ain't gonna change. You cannot give it to them, they still won't change because they don't like change. One of the great goals of the Christian life is growing in Christ. Amen. Let me tell you something. Years ago, God already knew that 2022, amen, that Kingdom Builder would be in this position that they're in. Yeah. It wasn't a coincidence to God. It wasn't, a, it wasn't nothing that caught him by surprise. Amen. He already knew that at this point in life, Kingdom Builders would be looking for a new leader. Yes. <laughs> ah, because Apostle laid the foundation. But let me tell you something. He would have never left me if his work were not finished. So he had finished his assignment. And so God said, look at here. I got to bring on a Joshua. I, 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 Moses is dead now. And I got to bring a Joshua. Ah, so... So we can only grow. We are willing to change. Yes. Somebody shall change. change. Now kingdom builders minutes can only go up from here if we are willing to change. Yeah, yeah. So change from who we were to who God wants us to be. Yeah, many people are living to build an earthly legacy. But the most enduring legacy we can build is that which would last for eternity. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Many folk doing what they doing because they want everybody to talk about it when they leave this. But the thing about it, are we saved for real? <laughs> Sanctified and filled with his precious holy ghost. You got to have it for real. Look at somebody on your road and say, baby, you got to have it for real. Yeah, you got to have it for real. You got to know without a shadow of a doubt, amen, that you're living this thing for God because so many people are living for other folks. Amen. Because we, we spend more time trying to impress other folks and don't worry about how God feels about us. Amen. Baby, I really don't care if you happen with me or not as long as God gets the glory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about God getting the glory. And so if God gets no glory, my work is in vain. And so the race of our individual destiny is the race that's set before every one of us. And it is the most important race of our lives. As we journey on today, Amen. I want you here, Kingdom Builders, to know that there's still an assignment yes. that has to be fulfilled. Yes. We all have experienced hardships. Yes. Some of it almost unbearable. And those of us who believe in God, and that's most of us, want to know what's God's relationship to the suffering. Yes. Because all of us, at some point in our walk with God, we're going to suffer some things. And yes. we're going to go through some trials and we're going to go through some tribulation but we got to do like first Peter been love thinking not strange concerning the family trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you but the 13th verse is that saying is that but rejoice in other words but give God praise amen I don't care what you're going through but baby give God praise yeah it may look like it's at the end of your road but give God praise it look like you Give God praise. Give Him praise. Amen. Because it could be worse than it is now. Amen. We could be out of here not able to lift our hand. But when we give God 
glory and praise. Right? All we're doing is honoring him. Right? Because he's been good to us. Right? All we're doing is lifting his name up. Right? Because he's worthy of our praise. to learn that all of us go through. All of them. And that don't mean that every time we come to the house of God, we got to come here, tears in our eyes. Come on, come on, come on. Look like we've been crying all night long. All we want is a pity party. Come on, that's it. But God needs a praise. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, not that we got time that we would never cry. Yes. But it should be every time we come to the house of God, we yes. just come here and lag. Yes, God. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I'm going to come back to you later on because that's a best of knowing on your life. God yes. will shift something to you yes, in the God. next 13 days. Oh, you hear me? Yes. 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 Ah, so, so there are times that, 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 that God look at us like, hey, hey, amen, I'm giving you the ability yes. to pull yourself through. Some of the stuff we wait on God, He's already gifted us to do. <laughs> Pastor, I don't know why we said waiting on Him. He said, I've given you the ability to Amen. Out of it. Amen. Whatsoever you find on earth shall be found in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Got to understand the power of God, and, 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 and it's a sad thing, Pastor, that we hear saints talking about them all the time. We got the week we brag about them, but as soon as church over, we crying about them. And, and the reason we're bragging, Pastor, and we're crying later on because we really don't believe about who we brag. About. Tell you something, if I'm not bragging about them, I got to believe them. And if they got found in the 21st century church, you got a lot of pastors, you got a lot of leaders that bragging about them, but don't believe it. And so, how can lay members believe in somebody when I'm their leader and I don't believe in him? So, so, yeah, so we all have experienced in hardships. Came to share with you that there was an assignment that has to be furthered. Uh -huh. mm. And I'm going to text here, Jeremiah 29 and 11, is that addressed to the exiles in Babylon. It's punishment for the sins of Judah. Come out. God was going to send the Babylonians to destroy Jerusalem and the temple and to carry away many of the people to Babylon. At that time, Jeremiah wrote Jeremiah 29 and 11. Nebuchadnezzar had already removed some Jews to Babylon. Although the total destruction of Jerusalem and the temple was still to come. I'll get to my point in a minute. Jerusalem, amen, Jeremiah writes to the exiles to tell them that people would return to the land after 70 years. Then he reassures them in verse 11 that God has not forsaken them. So kingdom builders, I came to share with you today that God has not forsaken me. Amen. Fulfill the assignment of God. Amen. Apostle Scott Tyler laid the foundation. Amen. He laid a good one here. Amen. And so all you got to do is carry on the assignment that God has started in this place. So he thinks, Jeremiah yeah, wanted to carry the people that God had not forsaken me. Y'all will be restored. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep the guns. I know we've been through these last few months. Uh, but all I came to tell you that God will restore you. Amen. And restoration is on its way to your house. Now, next somebody that said, neighbor, restoration is on its way to your house. Now, whatever, somebody else said to him, you may not be a part of this, but amen, whatever you've been going through in life. Amen. I come and pray with you that restoration is on its way to your house. Yeah. Yet you had some ups and you had some downs. But restoration is on its way to your house. And if you believe it, shall he yes, God. Yeah. If you give God a sound in here, restoration, you will feel it while we in here now. Because God can work with your sound. Yeah. Shall he yes, God. Yeah.
So God's plan for his children, the people were for good and not for evil. To give you a future and hope. Uh, now I know back in January it seemed really bad. Uh, but God has a future and a plan for your life. Situation they can take comfort in Jeremiah 29 and 11, knowing that it is not a promise to me to rescue us uh -huh. from hardships or suffering, but rather a promise that God has a plan for our lives. Let me say it again. Some of y'all let that pull your head. So, so Jeremiah 29 and 11 is not a promise that He will immediately rescue us. From what we're going through it. But it is a promise, woman of God, that amen, that, that, that God has a plan. And the mystery of God is that we don't know his plan. All we gotta do is trust his process. Ah, because I don't know the plan that God passed, but maybe if I can trust his process. Ah, if I put my trust in him, that's why the Bible says you need not to lie on understanding. But and love with all our heart. Yeah. Gotta trust this process. Yeah. Tell somebody on your road, you gotta trust this process. You gotta trust this process. Pastor, what, what, what church at? What city your church is? Step down, yeah. yeah. Step God is gonna be shaking up. Amen. You gotta hear what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> I'm all, I got it. Step God is going to be shaken up. Amen. Five, six years ago, God gave you a vision. And look like all of the vision look like that's been a hindered one. Yeah. Yes, God. Yes, God. But God can shake step God up because you made your a decision to say. Yeah. Ah. That was something if you would have listened to folk, you would have left stuck God and tried to go somewhere else. But because you decided to stand, oh my God, I don't know God. Baby, come on the other side, hold that other hand. You don't mind doing that other hand right quick. Oh my God. Call that a special anointing on your life. Ah, yet in the dream that God put you in a few days ago. My God, he's going to call the dream to come to pass. Somebody, yes, God. Somebody shout, yes, God. Do. Hands on the me right there. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, somebody brought them to shout, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody brought to him and said, it is so. So step down and get ready to be shaken up. There's a shaking. I don't know who this is. This is a, this is a very important man in the city that God get ready to shift. <laughs> you better hear what I'm saying. He's getting ready to shift himself. Oh my Y'all sit on that down. Let me finish. So, 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 so let, let, let me say it again. So, it's not a promise. He didn't promise that for us. That he would immediately rescue us. That's the thing. Amen. He didn't promise that. But he promised, yeah. daughter, that he has a plan. Yeah. Now, you got to know without a doubt that God has a plan for you. Yes, he got a plan for that location. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so sometimes when God, when, when, he, when he gave us warning, I, I, I didn't warn him. It took me three months to say yes. The lady said, Bishop, I just want you to pray. I did not pray. Because I was afraid of God's answer. Yeah. Now I'm talking to somebody on this road right here, too. <laughs> Y'all better hear me. So I was afraid of God's answer. So three months later, she said, Bishop, Bishop, you must ain't pray. I said, that's why I'm, I'm really didn't pray. She said, all I'm asking you to pray 
If God said no, then I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. And so I prayed and I went on that Jesus. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Because God had a plan. Because I never saw myself passing to church and an organization. So, so once we took on that location, I said, baby, we got to do something. I can't pass it to churches and I function with this organization. So that's when God let us put pastors on the churches so we can focus on the organization. Because he didn't promise that he would take the heartaches away. But he promised that he had a plan. Tell a neighbor, amen, said neighbor, he didn't promise that he was going to rescue you. He didn't promise he was going to rescue you. But he did promise, Pastor, that he had a plan for your life. Y'all sit on down, sit on down now. Sit on down, sit on down. Come on now. So let me tell y'all something. I use this analogy sometimes. Pastor, uh, uh, I, I thought I used to be one of the best basketball players in school. So then the girls were hot. So when they were hot, I want to go. I want to, I want to throw them up. So there's a point I'm trying to make today. So y'all, I'm going to let y'all holler later on. But when y'all holler, I want to make another point. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Because when I look back over my life and think about her, So my soul, my soul, wave your hand back there, daughter. Just lift your hand back there with that on for that on. Yes, ma'am, I'm coming to you later on. I'm like, my God, y'all sit on back down. So, so God has a plan. He promised that he has a plan. And regardless by the current situation, he can work through it and prosper us. And give us a hope and a future. Three parts of focus I'm closing here. Uh, in following the assignment, number one, you must know that God has created a plan. Yes. You, 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 you got to know that, that God has created a plan. Amen. For you. That's why Jeremiah said, said it like he did, amen, in 29 and 11, when he said, I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil yes. to give you an expectancy. Yes. So the first thing you got to know in front of the assignment, you must know that he created a plan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Again, he already knew years ago what you would be at in this place in life. Yes, so the second thing is God foreknew everything that would make you you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, because some of you, God, I can't speak plain. God, I don't put my words in the right perspective. And God, let me tell you what, there's a lot of us don't know how to do that. Gotta get it like me, just say it fast. Just say it fast, and they won't never know it. Y'all think you're just speaking in tongues, just say it fast. And they will never know you didn't know how to pronounce that word. All right. All right there you go. So, so God will give us a way. All right. Yeah, 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 He'll yeah. give us a way. He will give us a way. Amen. So you got to know uh, that God put you everything that will make you you. Yeah. So the last thing is you got to know that there is a promise. Amen. Somebody said, what is the promise? Amen. The latter part of the verse that he would give you an expected end. Yeah. I'm ready to roll now. Let's go. So where well, kingdom builds ministry. Well, I got to get out of here, but on my way out of here. Yeah. I came and encourage you today, Pastor Abraham and Pastor the Earth, that God wants you to further the assignment. Yeah. That's why you got to keep on driving. That's why you got to keep on pushing. Yes, you will have some ups and some downs. You will have some times in your life that you got to cry along the way. But that's why the Bible said that we've been made endure for a night. But you come 
in the morning. And that's why the Bible said, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and to those who are the call according to his purpose. But you got to know that there is an assignment that's got to be fulfilled. Give me neighbor high time for the first time and say neighbor what we gonna do is stand in here and watch God move. You got to know that the Bible said in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 11 it said wherefore comfort yourselves together in the Lord and edify one another even as also ye do let me revelate kingdom business while you're in the process of seeing what what God is saying, comfort one another and hold one another in your arms because there gonna be some that ain't studying the word. There gonna be some that ain't studying a sign, but God has given you an assignment. Come on, Jay. God has given you an assignment to fulfill. Shout yes, God. And you got to know without a shadow of a doubt that the blood of Jesus is a own kingdom building ministry. Because when the blood is upon you, in hell, stop the cycle of God. You got to know without a shadow of a doubt that I live for the seventh day. He giveth power to the faith and to them that have no might. He increases your strength, even the youth shall pray and be weary. And the young men shall utter the thought, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew your strength. You shall mount up with wings as eagles run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. Dig your nail. Be blessed. When you go out, you shall be blessed. You shall be the head. 